got a quick one for you today. I'm looking at a lens collar that was sent in via Sunway Photo. There are three different sizes available for this. I have the LS80 version. The concept behind this is quite simple really. It's a lens collar without the need to use a lens. Doesn't sound very logical, but the idea is you can attach it to the camera body. Therefore you'll have the rotation with all of the lenses that you use with this. The camera plates have thick rubber pads on them, and the reason you have two of those is for different size cameras. Main plate at the front, that is ARCA compatible. Doesn't really make any difference how you assemble this, you can put it together in any particular order that you want. The idea with this is to get it as central as you can to the camera mount. The important thing to remember is I wouldn't fully tighten everything off the reason for the adjustment is down to the camera sizes really, obviously different bodies and designs, even from the same manufacturer they can be quite different. The locking nut on the right hand side, once you take that off there is still some tension on that ring and quite a bit of tension as well, it won't move around on its own. It clicks into place in four different angles. So what we're looking for is enough clearance, particularly with the grip and the top of the camera so that it can rotate fully around without coming into contact with anything. That's why you'll probably want to make a few adjustments once you have have it fully in place. The foot is ARCA compatible, but you can also put a plate directly onto that and screw that into one of the two holes. So you can use it with pretty much everything really, even non-ARCA compatible items. When you're trying to pick one of these to decide which size is best, you're looking at the lens diameter not the mount diameter. So in this case, most of my lenses will fit, but this Tokina 24 to 70, that's just a little bit too big to fit, but I can fit the 70 to 200 millimeter in there. So do check the measurements on your lenses and that will help you decide which one is best to get. You still have access to the bolts on that, so you can move them around if you want to. Overall build is quite nice on this. It does feel very solid. Everything's anodized aluminium. As an alternative to an L bracket, there are some advantages and disadvantages. It obviously is a bit bigger, but it does give you complete and quick control over the axis. I could see it being handy, particularly for things like macro and still life, where you might want to change the orientation quite quickly. With something like an L bracket, you'd be taking that off or attaching it again, which could potentially slow you down. Although it is larger than an L bracket, that's a potential drawback. It does shift the weight forward away from the camera body and that does make quite a difference in terms of the stability even though it isn't actually directly supporting the lens. They do have some compatibility information up on screen but I would recommend that you do check your own particular lenses that you have. As usual I will put the links down below if you have any interest in this or if you've got any thoughts or other suggestions do drop a comment below. We'll be working on some more videos shortly when I'm feeling a bit better, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.